Now in the previous video I gave a sneak peek of the app I'm working on and here is some more information about it. So it's basically a flight simulator, although the FMS is not supported. You can control the aircraft using the FCU and it's very realistic. And you'll get an example. So at the moment the speed is managed, you can pull using this button here to make the speed selected, change the speed with the plus or minus buttons, or set the next exact speed using the set button. And like so. And um, if you push it again, it becomes managed. I uh, pull the heading, and so it's already in heading mode now, but change the heading here, you can push it, and if it's not on a net intercept, it will show that also. Pull heading again. Um, change the altitude. Uh, you can see that reflects on the uh, PFT. Uh, pull for open climb, because the trust climb as the trust here. And you can set the vertical speed. And you can see these numbers here, the countdown. That's just a feature you can switch off in the settings. And uh, pull and it goes to vertical speed mode. So the FMA is very realistic and also how the aircraft flies, that's V0, like oh, the, the rate at which the vertical speed changes. Um, it, it's all very, uh, very realistic. Now, one very unique feature of this app is that it supports interactive lessons. Now I'll give an example. So you can go to the menu, lessons, and select, for example, a flight control unit and it gives you instructions here and you press next you read it and next again etc and it will if it asks you to um, uh, turn a knob or, or push a button then um, if you don't select the correct button it will show you where to press for example here now it says push the speed mac button and if you click the wrong button then it will tell you it's incorrect and you have to click this one here etc so this is very useful for um, new pilots to the to the to the A320 or 321, and uh, also to in, uh, increase your knowledge about descent management in general. This app is specifically designed for to teach descent management, although it also supports the climb. You can also uh, take off like so. And all you have to do is set flex or toga and it speeds up on the takeoff so you don't have to wait so long and it automatically goes to normal speed at uh, v1 you can turn that speed up feature uh, off in the settings by the way so it automatically rotates here and the vertical speed increases and it uh, goes it's it automatically uh, enters pause mode because it asks you to select the gear up so we'll do that now and later also it will, if you don't uh, engage the autopilot it will also tell you so all the modes here, it's exactly like uh, the real aircraft and uh, the performance is pretty close. So now it asks us to uh, select a lever climb, so do that right there. And um, soon it will uh, freeze to, to tell us to turn the autopilot on. Like there it goes, pause, select autopilot. There we go, autopilot on and then it continues. Um, there are quite a few options which you can um, use to modify certain things like uh, select different lessons, um, exam is not available yet, the free flight, so you can save and load uh, approaches or, or any situation for that matter, take off also. And you can change to HV21 or NEO, it's also supported. And, and it also changes the, the way the display, display looks. Like if you do an approach, let, let me just select a, an approach which I've saved before. So now we're on the approach and um, you see we're in uh, GS and lock. Um, so now at the moment this altitude is in uh, blue. But if we change to a Neo, then it will change the color to white and also uh, brake low and and uh, a couple of other details you will see on the PFD. And there are some uh, other aircraft, uh, 320 uh, CEO, 
and uh, 321 CO who also have this display but uh, regardless you can also you can always uh, just change to neo if you want to if you prefer this um, version what else we have we can change to a landing config tree for flaps uh, change the approach type to um, ILS VR RMP change the weight and uh, the type of uh, minima the cruising level and for takeoff the pre-select the climb speed and uh, NADP1 departure I just I chose to keep it relatively simple here uh, I don't want to make it into an FMS trainer because that's just a lot of work and it's not uh, the uh, purpose of the app uh, I can also uh, change the weather turbulence QNH and the ISA deviation or just the temperature if you turn that off and the wind and you can also teleport to a certain altitude um, if I go maybe I'll, I'll just show that I'll just um, load the default uh, star here so I'll pick to um, um, the approach and um, what else we have um, called teleport and you can uh, teleport to the FCU so you can set the high altitude for example here uh, flight 4160 at the moment we are at flight 4120 and if you go to teleport teleport to FCU it will then teleport to that altitude and also it will also work with a heading um, for ND touch if you enable that it works also on mobile by the way you can uh, drag the uh, ND to reposition the aircraft like that and just change the um, the heading just by changing the FCU heading like that. Um, okay, back to the default star. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's some other things you can change. Um, the, that countdown timer, what I was talking about, if you um, change the heading there, eventually the heading or speed or uh, vertical speed will time out if you don't uh, pull it within that timeout but you can change it uh, in the settings to not display it like that um, you can also display the uh, elevation above the aerodrome level here the of course the real air airplane it doesn't show that but it's useful for demonstration purposes so you can see what the effect is of uh, a misset q and h or, or temperature or airfield elevation and um, there's some other things you can change for the application and some information about uh, the book. Yeah, that's pretty much it for an introduction. I'll make some more videos how to um, set things up and uh, how to use it. It's also a very useful tool for instructors. For example, you can show what happens if you end up above the glide slope. You can, I will create lessons for that, but you can also create an, a situation and see what happens if you don't do the correct thing for example let's uh, purposely uh, go above the glide slope and demonstrate what will happen a uh, common mistake is that you do glide slope from above but then incorrectly so you set the higher altitude and then uh, instead of vertical speed you want to uh, go to open the sand but of course if the altitude is set higher we'll go to open climb tool we'll go to open climb and of course that is not what you want so very useful for instructors to demonstrate any type of situation well that was it I hope you enjoyed and see you next time